Hi, in this part one video, we will talk about some theoretical concepts for interfacing DC motor to microcontroller. For interfacing it, uh, DC motor to the microcontroller, first we need to know certain basic things about the DC motors and about various IC for interfacing it. So, in this first video, we will talk about uh, the uh, theoretical concepts uh, uh, for interfacing a DC motor to the microcontroller. So, first we will uh, do a little introduction of DC motor. Uh, <coughs> what is DC motor and how it operates? As its name suggests, a uh, DC motor is a, is a simple motor which operate on a DC which operate on a DC power supply. So, uh, if we look at the picture, it looks like uh, this. It has two terminals, and uh, none of the terminal is uh, designated as uh, specifically positive or negative. If we apply positive at one terminal and negative sub uh, negative at the other terminal. Uh, the motor will simply rotate in one direction and if we change the polarity of the voltage like uh, plus one uh, on the other, other terminal and negative on the another terminal then it will uh, simply rotate in other direction very simple just apply plus one on one terminal and negative on the another terminal rotation in one direction and just change the polarity of the power supply it will rotate in another direction now the sec now the second thing comes about the readings of the DC motor. The readings of the DC motor stands uh, like how much power it consumes and uh, how much current it draws while operating. So uh, for general case uh, for those uh, uh, small uh, embedded system applications like in robotics, the DC motor generally consumes a uh, 300 milliampere power and they operate near about uh, 10 volt. So the major problem comes here. Uh, a microcontroller are not designed for providing this much amount of high current. Uh, they have certain specific uh, uh, I in and I out for each pin of the microcontroller and that is roughly around 10 milliampere. But uh, if we want to connect our motor to the microcontroller, it will require a 300 milliampere current uh, to run, which a uh, microcontroller can't uh, provide it. So we need some extra circuitry which will provide uh, or which will act as a driver circuitry and it will take the input from the microcontroller and it will uh, uh, give the same output to the motor but uh, it uh, with enhanced uh, current so one of the ic which uh, used uh, which used with this uh, uh, interfacing of the dc motors is l293d ic this L293D IC is, uh, contains two H bridges. So H bridge is a simple concept for, uh, we will not go into the detail of this H bridge. This IC contains two H bridges and one H bridge uh, is used to interface uh, one IC, one uh, DC motor. So if it is a two H bridge, so we can connect uh, two DC motor at the same time uh, with a single IC. Now, this uh, IC is required or this IC will be placed in between our DC motor and our 80051 microcontroller. Now comes about the writing up a code uh, for uh, moving uh, the DC motor either in either direction either for either uh, clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction. So uh, we will uh, take some assumptions like if we provide at uh, 1 and 0 suppose it will go in the uh, clockwise direction and if we are uh, we am applying 0 and 1 it will go in the anti clockwise direction now if we look at the any port of the 8051 uh, microcontroller it contains eight different pins so we will uh, we will give uh, a bit specifically to the each pin so in binary in binary case if we want to rotate our motor in clockwise direction we have to give this number at uh, any particular port suppose uh, our IC or our motor is connected to the port 0 so we will uh, send uh, this uh, number to the 
port 0 for rotating in the clockwise direction if we want uh, to rotate in anti clockwise direction it's a very simple just rotate the last two bits so it will uh, now rotate uh, the motor will now rotate in the uh, anti clockwise direction and for uh, stopping a motor it's very simple either uh, provide 0 0 to both the pins or 1 1 to both the pins so if we apply a 1 1 so it is an uh, wastage of the extra power so we will generally provide a 0 0 to both the pins so for stopping we will send simple 0 0 will send simple 0 0 to the same port so our motor will stop so this is the simplest way of uh, connecting our uh, <coughs> uh, DC so motor to the this method we can simply interface our uh, DC motor to the microcontroller and in the next video we will write uh, assembly uh, assembly code uh, for doing the same in keel software so that's it for this video thank you <laughs>